Welcome, everyone. Uh, sorry about the mix-up. I know we had a different link, but I found out last minute it's not working. A lot of people were texting me like, oh, my God, link's not working. And I'm like, oh, my God, Nick, link's not working. <laughs> but good that we have a good system that sends out a message to everybody really quickly. So you guys are the ones, hopefully, that receive that text message. And um, the message batches out. So We'll give a couple more minutes for people to join in before we get started here. But, um, you know, I want to start just by saying that I feel so blessed and extremely honored at, you know, some of all the different names that I see joining this call. You know, a lot of you guys have made a really big impact in my life. Um, and I just see so many people that I really, really love. So having you guys here, you know, it just it's it's such an honor to be able to share with you all this vision that has been building uh really since i was living in peru for the year during covid and i feel like we have a we have a a a path to um to making a really big global change so i've invited some of my partners that are you know really a going to be playing a big role also on to this call and i'll be introducing them here shortly and then i'll also share with you guys the vision i'll share with you guys what it looks like but know that just by being here listening to this vision it is being created and manifested and and moving uh you know the movement of it just by being here regardless of whether you want to take action and be a part of it right now or not listening to it and showing up on this call means the world to me all right. And um, and know that once you hear this vision, you can unhear it. So that's the invitation is to to see where when you hear it, how you can fit into this, how you can be a part of this vision, because it is so big that um, every single one of you, every person on the planet can fit into it. That's how big it is. And I know there are gaps and there are holes all over this which still gets to be plugged and uh and hopefully with uh you know by by you being here listening to it you will see how you can be a part of it all right i'm gonna give you guys a path a place that you guys can join immediately how to do it um but uh <laughs> I, i'm getting so many private messages too and so much love so Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying yes to being here today. I know you could be anywhere else doing anything. We're all up to so many great and big things, but you guys are taking your time out to be here. So, um, you know, as we wait for a couple more or, or people to, to join and as the message gets out, the text message of the right Zoom link gets out, um, I want to get, you know, we'll get started. So again, just so much love and uh, thank you guys so much for being here. So for those of you guys that have been following the journey of the fun to fund of what we're doing, the entire goal here is to disrupt the private equity space. And through the disrupting of the equity uh, private equity space, um, hopefully we can change the way the work the the world is is operating right now, you know, and some of the things that I'll talk about, we'll, we'll talk about some of the large funds that are out there and how they operate currently and, you know, how we can shift everything just by a couple degrees and by doing that, being able to really change the world. All right. So again, oh my God, just the people that are joining in here, every new name that is that I see and admitting into the room, I'm, it just, it fills my heart to see you know, you guys taking the time out to be here. So yeah, as, as more people are joining in because we had the last minute Zoom confusion, um, let me make Max D also a a, uh, a co-host in here. Max, can you help me let people into the room and mute people if, uh, you know, because this is not the right Zoom. This is my personal Zoom. It doesn't mute everyone on the way in. Yeah. So again... Thank you guys. Those of you guys that are that are new in this uh, in this space, we're going to talk about a way that we're going to create 
a fund, create private yeah. equity and do private equity that has never been done before. Okay. Not that all the pieces of it is brand new, but the way that we're putting it together and the ecosystem and the community that we're creating, it will literally disrupt the way private equity has been done. All right. And we have, uh, we have our um, law firm, our attorneys here, MW Law. I'll bring them up here in a minute. Um, we have Proxy Financial. These are all really big players in the industry right now. And they understand and they can see the vision of what we're doing. So I have the uh, I have Adnan over here. He is the 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 managing partner of MW Law. I have Brian Calkins, CJ Davison. I have um, Jacqueline over here. They're they're really big. Or, well, they're the founders of Proxy Financial, and Jacqueline is really leading the way and in, in bringing us together. So I'll bring everybody up to share a little bit here in a second. Um, but I just really want to extend my gratitude out for everyone that is here and listening to this vision. All right. So, okay. Well, I think, uh, we'll just get started now. And as people join in max, please just let people into the room. Okay. So where are we starting? We are starting, let, let me make the introductions to, uh, some key partners first, and then we'll go into what the vision of all of this looks like and yeah and then we'll kind of just go from there and i'll answer some questions at the end all right so let me bring up mw law first i know uh this was kind of last minute telling you guys to hop on i forgot to send you the invite so adnan i'm gonna make you i'm gonna bring you on to you. right here on the spotlight mm -hmm. so Everybody, Adnan is uh, the managing partner of MW Law. They specialize in uh, security law. Um, everything from if you're buying apartments, if you're doing anything that has to do with security, funds, uh, syndications, they are uh, Adnan and his firm. They're experts in this space, and we've engaged them to do all the things for us. So, Anon, uh, you want to do a quick introduction of yourself and what you guys do, and what do you yeah. think about the vision too? Yeah, absolutely. What you think about? Uh, that. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, thank you for having us on, Alex. I think the things that you're dreaming of, the things that you're looking at doing, phenomenal. Um, in terms of just the scope that you have and the vision that you have, we're honored to be a part of this. Um, so thank you for having us on here. We wish you all the absolute best, and we think that we're. Uh, we're very happy to be here with you in those kinds of things. Quickly, by way of introduction, absolutely happy to kind of introduce ourselves and who we are and what we do. MW Law, we are a real estate private equity boutique powerhouse. Um, that's a long-winded way of saying that really what we are is we're attorneys that specialize uh, in private equity real estate uh, and finance, right? So we structure syndications, we structure private equity funds, um, we handle securities compliance, we have transactional attorneys, and we're a title company. What that really makes us is a one-stop shop for real estate, private equity, investment deals, which is basically what you guys are engaging in here, especially with the Legends Equity Fund and all of those kinds of things. That's what we do kind of on a go-forward basis. Um, as a boutique powerhouse in this space, we do about a billion dollars in transactions a year across all of these things. And so when Alex came to us with this vision and what he wanted to do, we were immediately excited and happy to see how we could lend value and assist and all those kinds of things. And so we're here um, because we believe in what Alex is doing and we think that what he's trying to do is incredible and we're happy to see how we can assist in that way, right? Um, so as a law firm, of course, what that means for us is what we do is offer legal assistance. So we structure these funds, we ensure securities compliance, um, we help with legal structuring and we answer those kinds of questions and help structure vehicles in those in those ways and help with securities compliance. So yeah, um, all around through, I don't know if I'm speaking too much or being fairly redundant, um, Alex has covered a good deal of this along the way. And again, just happy to be here and happy to be honored to be part of what you guys are building. Yeah. Thank you, Adnan. And just real quick, what, based on what you've seen out there, you've created a lot of funds out there. And I know you're creating funds for people like literally every single week. Um, is this a unique thing that we're doing or, or what do you think about it? Just yeah, I think so. I think in the way that you guys are approaching this thing, what you're trying to do is trying to really open up the capital markets um, in a way to have as many people participate as possible in good opportunities in this space, right? And I think that's something that is kind of lacking in real estate private equity generally. And so I think what you're trying to open up for these people is very admirable. 
I think that your vision is both grand and also very, you know, uh, it's humble. It's humbling to see, right? Uh, you're in this space and you've got these opportunities from a real estate private equity, you know, perspective. And at the same time, you're turning around and you're, what you're trying to do is open it up um, for so many other people to help participate and be with you along the way. Now, of course, we've got securities compliance matters to ensure that we're in line with. And what that means is, of course, we're looking at people that are accredited investors, people who are, you know, capable of participating at this level. But certainly still to that degree, something like what you're trying to do hasn't really been done before, which is why we were very immediately excited about it and honored to be part of this, right? Um, I think that what you're doing is pretty phenomenal and I'm excited to see where you take it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Anon. And thank you for hopping on and making the introduction. I know you're super busy these days. Oh, so yeah. oh. everybody, this is this is Anon. Anon is the managing partner of MW Law. So, you know, busy guy running the whole entire law firm and taking the time out to share. So thank you, Adnan. Absolutely. Yeah. Now I, I hope you, I, I wanted to bring Adnan on here because I want to also share with you guys and show like the, the impact that this fund is going to make and how big this vision is and how many people want it, want, can see it, you know, especially the people that are already in this space. And we're not just, engaging an, an attorney or somebody we're we're engaging the managing partner the head of uh, a securities law firm so he believes in it that's why he's taking the time to be out here with us um yeah so i'll i'll i'll, I'll talk a little bit more about how why that is significant and what their role is shortly here when i start sharing the vision of what it is that we're creating um but one of the things that Adnan was saying is you know how how are funds structured out there these days? If you look at BlackRock, Vanguard, Fidelity, all these massive funds that literally run the entire world right now, the way they're structured is you got this big fund and you have a small group of people that literally run everything and make all the decisions. And you have all of us as individuals putting our 401ks, pension funds into those funds without really knowing what it's doing besides here is a return that we're giving to you. But they literally own majority of the S&P 500. They make all the decisions. Anything that is happening in the world today, whatever industry you're, you, you, can, you can even imagine, uh, they have their hands in. Okay, And they're probably behind the decision making of it. So I'm not saying that it's bad. I actually think it's a great thing what they've done, creating the channel and the and the ability to reach all those people. Um, but you know, when you when you operate from a profit first, you know, and the lack of transparency and accountability that comes with it, the world is operating the way it is because of that, right? So, um, what we're what we're doing is we are creating another layer around this fund, right? So if we have a massive fund, think about BlackRock. If BlackRock was to build another layer that empowers people to be able to sh uh, participate in the profit shares of what these funds are doing, and then also you know, keeping themselves accountable, like if every investor was able to see, oh, this is where my money's going, this is these are the types of things that it's it's buying and influencing in the world then it gives you power you every single one of us is voting with our money all right so when i say we're disrupting the way private equity is done is that is typically the space it's in also the ultra wealthy are playing with the ultra wealthy if you're going to really invest into some of these funds that are big out there the, the tier 1 private equity funds your minimum investment into these funds are 10 20 30 million dollars that means which who, the average person is not going to participate in there right so we're also going to be empowering the average person to be able to do this so uh, i'm that that is one point i want to land first you know so as we talk about the funds you guys are going to see i'm addressing a lot of these problems and that is how well, i wouldn't even know if they're called problems but just giving more opportunities and more uh you know the 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 ability for people to participate in there so i want to introduce next um proxy financial so that's brian and cj so i'm gonna are you guys available to, are you guys let me see if you guys throw have, me on the throw on. me on the uh the pin here. on huh Throw me on the pin. I'm with you. Okay. 
Let me see where you at. Uh, see, okay, there you go. I love that you have to find me because there's so many people on the call. <laughs> it makes me happy. I mean, look, this is this is our fourth call, all right, and we have not advertised this at all. You, every single one of you guys that are here right now, you are meant to be here. You're meant to hear what it is that we're 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 doing because either you have been exposed to my community already, or I'm privately sending you an invite to be a part of this. Okay, because I want you to be, I want you to hear what it is that I'm doing. And whatever you're doing out there, what we're doing is complementary to anything that you're up to in any any industry. Okay, and there's a way that we can partner up. There's a way that we can create a win-win. That is one of our top uh, values or, or principles or ethos that we operate from is that we always create win-wins. All right, so... Let's see. Is Brian here also? Okay, Brian. Yeah. Brian, let me know when you're able to come on camera. But CJ here, CJ is one of the uh, founders of Proxy Financial, and they bring a proprietary software, that a product that is literally going to change the game. All right. So this product is a blockchain product, <laughs> and blockchain at its core purpose, at its fundamental purpose, is a smart contract. So what that means is it's, it has a capability of recording every contract, every single transaction, okay? And that creates accountability and transparency. That level of accountability and transparency is what I was saying. If everyone was voting with their dollars and saying, hey, Wall Street, hey, large funds, all of you guys, big guys, we aren't going to give our 401ks or our retirement funds or our pensions or any of these things to you guys unless you operate from a, the our, what we're going to call the trust ledger. Okay, so this is if you operate from there. Now the journey of all of our money is is visible, right? If right now if you're like where's my money going? It's going into a fund. What's the fund doing? I don't really know. Right. It's like, oh, I'm getting my returns. That's it. See, because they operate from profit first, that leads you to only focus on profits instead of impact. But if it if they focused on impact and moving humanity forward in in a in a you know a, a true like healthy way, you know, um in an abundant way, then that's what we will focus on. But because they're like, oh, we're giving you the returns. We have the lowest fees. They can hide everything else that they do inside there. So this trust ledger, and, and I'll let CJ talk a little bit more about it. And CJ and Brian, they're literally the, the founders of Proxy Financial. Again, I'm not engaged with just one of their employees. They see the vision also. And CJ is a huge visionary. And I love bouncing ideas uh, with him. He and I are just, we live like like 30,000 feet up. And when we, when we, when we bounce ideas, somebody needs to stop us. Somebody needs to ground us again, which is usually Jacqueline and Brian, which I'll, you know, I'll, I'll introduce Jacqueline by herself because she's such a special person in my life. So CJ, go ahead. You do a little introduction of yourself. Who, who are you? Who's proxy? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. I, uh, and you're absolutely right. I think, uh, we're very dangerous uh, in a good way. And <laughs> we, I think we scare all the people on our team sometimes with the way that we think about things, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it is a, a great pleasure to be here. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is CJ Davidson. I am the CEO and a co-founder of Proxy Financial. We have a really cool job here, um, especially with the Legends Group. You just heard from Adnan and the legal team. They're basically building an indestructible product that you and Proxy together get to bring to market. So a lot of what we're doing, and we're going to talk about the trust ledger in a second because we're really proud of it, but a lot of what we get to do with you starts day one. We're going to be by your side through not only the financial fitness to where we get to take a look at your financial strength and your financial stability to make sure that you're ready for something like this, but we're going to be with you every step of the way, getting your fund to market and while the fund is in market, serving your investors and your clients. One of the things that we hold our hat on here at Proxy is we're, we love client service. We love interacting with investors and clients, and we're really, really good at it. And we know how to do it the right way. We know how to do it compliantly. And we know how to create and forge relationships that go beyond the product, which I think is right in line with what we're all trying to do here. So as we go through this journey together, we get to be hand in hand from the very beginning, get you, getting you from the starting point 
to launch fund and into the market. We get to help you with strategy. We get to help you with client relations. We get to help you with reporting and transparency on an ongoing basis and help you with go to market. Like who is your client base? Who are the investors you're looking to reach out to and join and bring into the community? And how is your fund going to best address those individuals and what they're looking for? We love that stuff. And we are here on an individual basis to work with each of you to make sure your fund is unique. It is powerful. And like Adnan said, it, it is from a compliance perspective done the right way for the right people. So we're really pleased to be part of the community. Like when we were asked to, to join and especially on the side of helping the fund to fund managers and helping the, the investors, um, we, we sunk right into it because that's our sweet spot and we love doing it. So um, as far as the trust ledger is concerned, um, blockchain is <clears throat> a very interesting subject, right? When people say blockchain, they immediately go to cryptocurrency and coins and these risky things. But at its core, blockchain as a technology is a very, very smart way of doing a lot of things that we already do in our lives. It is an immutable or an unchangeable general ledger that allows for not only transparency, but safety. Once something is agreed upon and placed onto that general ledger, it can never be changed. It is impossible, which means that everyone before they make a decision on behalf of the fund or behalf of that ledger has to really think about what they're doing and making sure that it is exactly correct. Because once it's there, it's there forever. That technology breeds the baseline trust that then we can launch from as a team and as a group. And it's, it's a pleasure to be able to use this in this environment. We brought it to market to help foreign investors who are investing um, at very high stakes, in some cases for the purpose of immigration, legal immigration to the United States. And they're investing large subs of money and they did not have any transparency, just like Alex was saying. And there was a lot of fraud. And this was born on the idea of that investor should be taken care of like any other investor in the United States or throughout the world. And it just doesn't exist until we came along. And our goal here is to do a lot of the same thing, is to democratize this, this haves and have nots and to give you the proper tools in the proper way to be able to bring power to not only your financial situation, but your communities. And I can't think of a better way, Alex, than with partnering with you and your community and your reach to be able to, to empower you in any way that we can. So thank yeah. you. The reason why we call ourselves proxy is this very reason. We want to be your proxy so you can realize the things that you're trying to do. Brian, uh, in summation, my, my, and to tell you a little bit about who Brian is, Brian always jokes. He goes, we didn't call it Brian and CJ financial for a reason. Our goal is to provide services for someone that needs services and not care who they are, where they come from, or how much money they have. That's the baby. So Alex, thank you for the time. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you so much, CJ. So what CJ was speaking into, we'll talk about the admin work and the things that, um, that they're going to be offering in terms of supporting this entire ecosystem and what it is that we're creating. And right now what we're doing is we're just talking about the structure. Okay. We're talking about a structure. I haven't even shared the vision yet. Some of you guys have heard visions up to the real estate fund of the Tony Shea legacy fund that in itself is a once in a lifetime opportunity. However, we're now going to be talking about the heartbeat of where everything is going to be coming from. Okay. So, um, I want to, let me see if is is Matt on here. We have a uh, no. Let me let me introduce Jacqueline real quick. Where is Jacqueline? At? Jacqueline, are you here? Yeah. Uh, uh, here you are. So, first of all, I just want to say, meeting Jacqueline, my AI helper uh, for my social media, slid me into Jacqueline's DM. And from the moment that I started speaking to Jacqueline, my world kind of started opening up. It started, started unraveling and new possibilities came about. She introduced me to Proxy. Proxy was so welcoming. I went to like some award ceremony thing that they were doing, their in-house award ceremony. And I was so blown away by the way, by, by the culture of Proxy that I taught, I went to Jacqueline. I was like, can I work for this company? First of all, I don't even know what it does. I'm not, I wasn't hundred percent sure what proxy financial was. I was like, I want to work for you guys. But then I'm like, wait, I don't, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what job I would take. I don't, I'm not looking for a job, but I just wanted to be a part of this culture. 
And then she introduced me to Brian and introduced me, introduced me to CJ. And we just found such alignment in the mission. You heard CJ mention democratizing private equity, democratizing the, you know, being able to bring the super wealthy opportunities over to the average person. And so Jacqueline has opened up so many doors, not only for me, but for the people that are in my circle. I, I love being around her. Every time that we hang out, she leaves. I'm like, no, you can't leave. And I stop her from leaving for another like 30, 40 minutes, just because it's so, you know, having somebody like this on my team, um, I don't know. I just feel extremely blessed. And she's literally the bridge and handles everything and makes my life so easy everybody needs Jacqueline. So Jacqueline, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Words really fall short from how I feel about our relationship. I'm just so grateful and I want to highlight you. And if you can just share a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Thank you. You're so sweet. Um, I don't know. I'm like choked up right now. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a journey, you know, we met and I'm like, you need, you need a fund to fund. Right. And you were like, what's that? And I was like, diversify your risk, man. You've got too many projects going on. And that was kind of like the thread that got pulled and the whole shirt fell apart. And here we are. So um, I, I can't say it enough. Like it's a, it's a pleasure to be on this journey with you, your team, you guys are my boys. Like I, I have nothing but love for you guys. You're like family. I, um, I moved to Vegas with my ex-boyfriend and had nobody here after we broke up. And so it's been nice to hold a lot of space for wonderful, beautiful people to enter. And you're definitely one of them. So thank you. Like it's, it's mutual. The feelings are mutual. I mean, every time I hug you and love, I'm like, oh, I just like, I can't get enough from you guys. And it's been so, such a pleasure going on this helicopter ride with you. Cause I think we both said this, you know, like ever since we met, I feel like, I don't know where I'm going. You're like, usually we crawl, walk, run, but we're like, boop to the next level. <laughs> so, um, a little bit about me. I worked with uh, billionaires and Fortune 25 companies for the last- Wait, 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 wait. Before you continue, because I'm going to forget this. The reason why Jacqueline and I, I was, I dug her energy so much because when we first met, the first thing we said was, I think she said it. So she goes, I don't work for money. I work for that. You changed my life. I'm like, oh my God, my podcast is called That Changed My Life. And I also work and do things of that change my life. Like I'm like, everything I do, it's got to be worth writing about, you know, and it's, it, it's got to be legendary things. You know, I think that's why it's legends equity group. Like we're, we're all, I'm calling the legend out of every one of you. And so, sorry, I, I, I digress. I go ahead. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I, I just went on a diatribe earlier today. Like, look, I'm, I'm here to change lives. And every day that I get a note that says you changed my life, I remember why I left my corporate job. Mm -hmm. um, so my past life, I worked as a certified public accountant. Um, I did seven years at Ernst & Young, which if anybody knows anything about the top big four public accounting firms, that's like 50 decades worth of aging and, and fat added onto your body. Um, but I did mergers, acquisitions, restructuring, reorgs, IPOs. Um, taking incubator companies abroad for the first time. Um, so I was on the front end of taxes. I wasn't on the back end doing tax return work. Um, I worked with a lot of billionaires and, you know, during 2020, there was a lot going on. And I was like, every time I'd come home on our private jets, I'd look around, I'm like another mom and pop shop closed downtown. Yet we had Apple, Facebook, Google, YouTube, Instagram, WhatsApp. We had all these companies within, I could literally throw a stone within five miles. And yet these stores that have taken care of these people for so long are closing and it broke my heart. Um, so I decided to tell my boss to fire me. And he did. <laughs> and it was like the best moment of my life. I have this face on. I was like, yes, I got my first package ever. The only one I'm ever going to get. And I just went on my journey and he was crying. And I was like, this is amazing. Oh, I should be sad because he's crying, but I'm not sad. Um, and I started off on my own personal journey. Um, I spent a lot of time working on myself, personal development, getting ready for this because I knew it was going to take an army. And I knew, you know, my whole goal is to give people access to money and access to knowledge because what billionaires and what the wealthy do is not difficult. They just have a different knowledge base and a different way of how they manage their money. Um, so along that journey, October 22, I met CJ and Proxy and I was like, boom, they're gonna take all my clients 
and do all the wealth management for them because usually wealth management is reserved for people with a $10 million net worth or more. So that gives them access to proper bulletproofing of their finances. Um, you know, they've been great. They've, I, I, just ruined their business entirely. I'm like, we're taking this B2B partner on this one and this one. And they looked at the Trello board the other day and they were like, I pray only 10% of this hits. And I'm like, <laughs> all the way up, <laughs> we're going all the way up. And they kind of shake their head at me like, you're crazy. And I'm like, yes, we're going there. We're going places, guys. So it's been yeah. really fun to go on this journey. And then, um, yeah, July of, of 2023, you slid into my DMs and I was like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy, but I'm going to do something. Um, and then I met you in person, which ironically, we didn't meet in Vegas, even though we both live here. We met in Dallas and I was like, that's what we're going to do. He's going to come into my university and I'm going to help him build a fun to fund. And so that's how we went on our journey because our missions are very similar, right? We want to just help rebuild the middle class, help give people the life that they deserve. Because look, if you were an employee in 2016 and you were an employee in 2006, you make the same amount of money. Inflation, cost of living is crushing our middle class. It's killing us. Um, we just had a hedge fund in Vegas buy another six, another billion dollars worth of single family residents in Las Vegas over the last six months. They now own the majority of the market. They are increasing the prices. They are increasing the rent. They now control the market. Um, it's very scary what's going on. It's very real. And so I'm very strongly passionate that if you do not start buying in the next three years, you will never be able to buy if you are an average American. Mm -hmm. And that's the 85% of people. And so, you know, we've kind of gone on this mission, Alex, to like open everything and give access. I've got 360 Real Estate University, which we partnered with Legends U. Um, it's just been a beautiful journey. I kind of remember sitting when I did my first event in October, looking back at everybody and sitting on the island in the kitchen. And I was like, I made this mess. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, everyone's smiling, laughing with Jeffrey. Jeffrey's here. We had a bunch of people in the room mentoring and it's just been a beautiful journey. You know, Lewis was sponsored my event. Um, you know, we've really come together and become a family, you know, and it's been a journey for all of us, right? I know there are times where Alex, you're like calling me, like, I'm so stressed. I'm like, breathe. And then you were telling me to breathe one time and you're like, <laughs> I need to breathe too. <laughs> you know, so it's been great. And I'm super honored to meet and be welcomed into Alex's community. Um, I'm always here to help. I'm always just a DM or a text or something away. I, I may legitimately not answer. I, I have 84 missed text messages right now I need to get back to, but um, we're doing it and it's exciting. Uh -huh. Like I can't yeah. believe we're here. <laughs> you got it. So, you got to get back to those for sure. But thank you so much for being here and, and supporting along the way. She's literally the bridge to all the things that's happening. So I'm, I'm just extremely grateful. Thank you, Jacqueline, for being here and uh, keep keep changing the world. We are doing an event in Las Vegas together in March. Um, so we'll uh, we'll share more of that in an email or something if you guys are interested. But OK, um, you know, some people, uh, all of you guys are here. I'm just, I'm just scrolling down the list of names. I mean, you guys have all, you guys are all up to something great. Um, I see so many big players in here too. And so again, thank you so much for, for being here. Um, and, and to so many people that I love so much. All right. So I'm going to share the, 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 here we go. Now this is the meat of everything that we're going to be doing, how we're doing it. And there's literally a path. So I'm going to share my vision. Um, and then I'm going to share the path in which, uh, you can be a part of it. All right. So it starts, let's see, where do I want to start? I'll, I'll start where we left off last time. We talked about a real estate fund that is going to buy, uh, and re and redevelop the entire downtown of Las Vegas, the Tony Shea legacy fund. So those of you guys that know who Tony Shea is, uh, or don't know who Tony Shea is. He is, he, what he was, he passed away during, around COVID, but he bought um, $350 million of real estate, all like raw land in um, Fremont area of Las Vegas in 2012. The, the portfolio itself is now estimated somewhere around a billion dollars. And most of it is undeveloped, all right, which gives an opportunity of a lifetime. Las Vegas being probably the most visited place in the entire world uh we have a downtown to be able to just have a blank canvas there to do whatever we want right and my goal is to help people start businesses you know if you have a message if you have a business if you have an idea things you want to do like take it to the place where most eyes and most people visit right we will build and we will help take your business 
to market, take your product to market and allow you to be or, or help you be seen, you know, and you'll be in par a part of a community that isn't just about casinos and partying and all of that. It's something that is truly uh, unique that we want to create over there, a true community. All right. Um, and Tony had that vision. That's what he wanted to do. Okay, so that is one opportunity that is really, really unique. It's once in a lifetime, but that fund itself is just one part of what we're doing. After that, after our last call, when I shared about that, I was like, there's something missing about what it is that we're doing that we should be doing next. Because I thought that was next. But when it comes to real estate, a fund itself, when you buy real estate, there's it takes time, especially if you're going to build. Now that takes even more time. So the Tony Shea Legacy Fund, that's going to be at least six, seven, ten different funds coming together to make that happen. So there's a lot of room there. Now, what I want to share today is the core and the heart of what it is that we're going to build. What we were going to do was myself and my partner, Justin, I don't know if he's here right now, but he and I were, uh, we were going to create the, the, um, the funding platform for all of these funds. He is a family office in Florida. Him and his family have been lending to the biggest developers in Miami, in, in, in Florida. You know, they include Toll Brothers, GL Homes, KB Homes. Like these are big, big, big developers. They develop like entire cities. And we're also engaged with some other guys that are really big developers here in Las Vegas too. So... We decided that instead of keeping that fund between a partnership of me and uh, Justin, we're going to take that also and put it into the structure of what we were talking about earlier, creating the fund of funds around that. So a debt fund. Okay. Why a debt fund? Because first of all, debt is the largest industry in the entire world. Okay. The United States biggest business is debt. The world's biggest business is debt. Now, if we can play and participate in there and change the debt game, we will change everything else that comes with it. So at the heart of everything we're building is going to be our debt fund. Now, how does the debt fund work? One, a uh, we will have our fund to fund manager. So think about it like there is a fund and then there are like... Funds that are replicas of our fund, which you guys individually will be running. And what that looks like is you will bring your own investors. You will learn the ins and outs of our debt fund. You can uh, you can get referral fees. You can get you know uh, asset management fees. These are different things, and we'll we'll talk more in details of that for the people that are ready to move on to the next level. Um, at the next stage of what we're doing. Even if you're not, stay tuned and stay connected to what we're doing because 100% there is a place for you in here. There's a place for you. There's a place for every member of your family. There's a place for everyone that you've ever known and that you will ever know. That's how big this thing is. Okay, now how does it work? Uh, one, in the commercial real estate space. You don't have to understand real estate, but understand that in... The next couple years, there's oh, there's probably there's close to $3 trillion of loans that are coming due. And what does that mean? That means every single person that owns those properties that have loans coming due, they have to trade. Either they have to sell or they have to refinance. But we know the state of our market right now. That means there's a lot of people that are going to go into refinancing their property, even though the property has nothing wrong with it, performing great, your management of it is great. There are two things happening. One, interest rates are higher. Two, banks are offering, you know, your traditional lending are offering lower loan to value. What does loan to value mean? Loan to value means if you have a $10 million deal, an 80% loan to value will be there, will give you $8 million in debt. Let's say nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong, but you just needed to go into a refinance because your loan is coming due. And the bank says, oh, we're only going to give you 60% now. That means you have an $8 million loan, but they're only going to refinance you $6 million. You have to put $2 million in just to refinance your deal. Cash in refinances. Everyone knows about cash out refinances, but the problem is cash in refinances. 
Nothing's wrong with the property. It is simply lower LTV that they're they're getting, you know, and higher interest rates. And that's the 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 state of our market. Now somebody I was in <laughs> I was gambling last night uh with because we have friends here so we're we're sitting at a blackjack table and the dealer was like, "What do you think is going to happen in our market?" I'm like, "Uh I, I if if commercial deals don't get saved, our market, our entire com uh uh what's it called? Uh, economy will go into will will suffer. All right? Because what's going to happen is all 3 trillion dollars, a majority of those will not be able to service their debt, so they're going to have to return the properties back to the bank. When a bank receives a property, that becomes a liability for them because their asset is you having the loan and paying them, right? Asset is money going into your pocket. Liabilities is money going out. So for a bank, they don't want that. It lowers their liquidity. They don't have liquidity. And now they have to put money out to operate this deal. So for a bank, that becomes a problem. Now, too many of those properties being returned back to a bank, a bank closes its doors. And this is what's going to happen to all the smaller banks out there that can't hang that don't have the liquidity, that can't handle that type of returns uh, or foreclosures, right? So what happens is you got your big banks that are going to come and gobble up these small banks. And here we go. Who runs these big banks? Who owns these big banks? These massive funds, okay? These massive funds, they produce everything. They, they are on the board of these banks. They own majority interest of these banks, right? So... That is what's going to happen. And during that transition, as smaller banks go under and the bigger banks are deciding what they're going to do with it, the entire economy will suffer. So what's the solution? The solution is private equity will come to rescue. Private equity has to come and rescue. Private debt firms. Uh, you know, Adnan has shared with me. He said um, every single tier one equity group, private equity group out there is starting a debt fund. Now, again, their structure is they have a debt fund and they're looking for other big players to inject 10 million, 20 million, nothing to do with the rest of us. We can't get involved. None of us gets involved. Big, the wealthier, the wealthy and the, and the middle class or the lower class, um, the, the, the gap just gets way bigger. That's what happens in every single downturn of an economy or, or something happens in our economy is the gap gets bigger between the, the haves and the have-nots and between the wealthy and the poor. So we are going to interrupt this. We're going to disrupt the way it's done. Nobody is doing it this way. So between the fund-to-fund -fund model, giving everybody an opportunity to be empowered, you do not need any experience to be a part of this. We will handhold you through the entire thing. This is a done for you fund model. We create the fund for you. We have proxy coming in to do man, uh, admin work. We have uh, CPAs. We have our, our, our CPA team that helps you with your K-1s, with your accounting, all of those things, your distributions, your onboarding, everything that could be a problem for you as a fund manager is you got training wheels on. And as everybody becomes educated about the finance, how, how finance works, the financial institution, how all of that works, our, every, everything's going to change. Um, now, a little bit more about the debt fund. Same structure with the trust ledger. It will come in and, and you will, the, the accountability, the transparency from the bottom all the way up to the investor. Okay, and you're going to get and you're going to get all the things that is necessary. The The education part of it is going to be there for everybody too. All right. And and by no means is this some kind of sale on an educational course or a mentorship course. Just I want to be very clear about that. This is something that you actually get to create. You will become a fund manager. But don't be afraid of that term. Okay. Because this is this is truly something that is... Uh, it, set, it sets itself apart. It's one of a kind. Um, how it works is we leverage my partner, Justin, his family office and their relationships and stuff. So we're able to get buy money from international banks and international lenders 
at a much cheaper interest rate than it is in the United States, then we take that money and we can go and uh, rescue a lot of these deals that there's no problems at all. They just need the right leverage. Okay. And if they had the right leverage, they can hold on to their deals and they won't lose it. Um, all the money that is basically uh, raised from our investors, from the fund to fund managers, it will come in and it will sit in some kind of cash equivalent treasury bond high interest uh, account. It's not even going to be used and it will earn four to six percent and it just sits there. And we leverage that money for 500 million, for a billion, for 1.5 billion. You know, and we lend, we we arbitrage the difference. We borrow the money and we relend it. Okay. And then there's just the, the the returns on that is massive, but we don't want to keep it. We want to push that out, give it to the investors, give it to you as a fund manager, and everybody is going to win in this space. Now that is the that is the debt fund itself. Okay. So if you don't understand the debt fund, it's okay. But I want to continue sharing with us where this vision goes. Okay. For a debt fund, as I mentioned earlier, taking a property back, that is the only liability of our debt fund is when we have to foreclose on somebody. Real estate funds on the side. We have an opportunity real estate fund that will come and front the cost of the foreclosure, buys the, buys the deal that comes into foreclosure. So the, the deal itself is a liability for the debt fund, but it's an asset for the opportunity real estate fund because now this fund is buying that real estate 50 cents 60 cents on the dollar so inside our ecosystem we fixed we, we've created a win-win between our two different funds and as fund managers you will be a part of all these different things um further out we have our venture funds okay our venture fund is gonna you know work on startups helping people with their startups roll up businesses acquisitions things like that so that will be another arm of the Legends funds, everything operating inside the same structure. Okay. Now, to my uh to my passion project, this is where I will land at the end of all of this when all the smoke clears and everything. It will be the nonprofit venture fund. All right, the nonprofit venture fund. Myself, I am partners with Paul Hutchinson, who is the executive producer of Sound of Freedom. Um, child liberation foundation liberating humanity like this is something that i'm a partner with now and we are going to uh create myself and a couple other guys we're creating a, a a program okay the first program is for youths that are aging out of foster homes the foster system because 75 percent of those people that age out they end up on the streets they become homeless Okay, they get into drugs, they become they get, they become homeless, and they are a big part of participating and getting into that uh, and and pushing forward that like human trafficking, the business itself, the industry itself. All right, and so we're gonna create a place in Las Vegas in the downtown Fremont area where there's gonna be basketball courts, there's gonna be video games, it's gonna be all the cool things that you can have when you age out. Right. It's the things that they didn't have as a child. Um, and they're going to want to be there. Now, being there, obviously, there will be probably curfew that they have to follow. There will be, um, you know, different types of studies that it comes with, you know, personal development, um, the NLP, Tony Robbins like trainings, right? Going through that. And then um, uh, also, I teach a course called Clarity Catalyst which helps you find your purpose and uh, your passion through creative outlets. So that's going to be uh, the, the, the course itself. Now, at the end of that is the entrepreneurial like incubator program. They get to, to, they get to pick a product or a service in which they're going to solve a problem for the world. And they're going to be mentored by CEOs, CFOs, founders that have exited 9, 10, 11 figures. And then our, our nonprofit venture fund will fund this product. Okay, We will take them to market. The chances of them succeeding, because they also have a really strong why behind it, 
strong why, strong mentors, and funding. This product, more likely, it will be successful. And when they become successful as entrepreneurs, they will come back and share and inspire other teens going through the same thing. Okay. And this nonprofit venture fund is actually going to be sustainable because it will be a partner in those products. All of our funds will feed parts of it into this nonprofit, uh, into this nonprofit venture fund. Now, the other arm of this is kind of the same thing, but for kids that are rescued from human trafficking. Now, I understand on the front end, there will probably need to be more therapy that is involved too. You know, probably for the for the kids that are aging out too, but there will be therapists and different types of healing modalities that are going to be available for them. And then they go through kind of the same program. The reason why I believe this is key in, in having them succeed in a product or a service is because once they find a purpose to their stories and to their suffering, once those things, once they can make sense of what the things that they went through and they can contribute to, to society, they will find a purpose in that place and it will heal all the suffering and the pains. They will be able to integrate back into society. And I, and I think that is, you know, the, there's a saying, I think it's, it goes, suffering ceases to suffer when it finds a purpose. Good afternoon. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, um, you know, that is my passion project. And now a huge part of this is also going to go towards a lot of retreat centers that are focused on healing, you know, healing the traumas, healing the wounds. Um, and that is a part that, you know, this past weekend I got together with, or no, last weekend, I got together with a bunch of really, really amazing people that are masterminding how to provide the safe space, how to heal the heart, you know, how to heal the soul for for humanity. So we are going to be, you know, allocating parts of our money to there too, to the fund. But my passion is in the giving back, is in the charity side of it. All right. So um, when it comes to what we're creating here, that is the entire picture so far. And I understand that even though it may seem big, it's tiny compared to the potential of it with each one of your contributions to it. All right. So uh, the way that this is going to be done is we are going to take 12 funds, 12 groups or 12 individuals here that is ready to go immediately. So this will be due by next Friday. It's 50K. This 50K goes into creating your entire fund, to, your fund for you. Okay, MW Law creates it for you. Proxy Financial is going to onboard you and onboard everyone else. Okay, and uh, you're going to get a financial fitness, which is going to help you create your foundations for everything in your life moving forward. Financial fitness includes retirement planning, tax planning, and succession planning. Okay, if you have those things in place, I believe that is at least a minimum foundation that everybody needs to have when, you know, when becoming financially free, when breaking through the money game. All right, so... That's going to be done for you. And you're going to have, uh, if you guys know who Brad Blazer is, he teaches, he has, a, he has a program called the Capital School. So teaching everyone how to raise capital. Every week we will have a call that is going to uh, teach you about security law, teach you about our vision, the ins and outs of the business, um, uh, the financial fitness. There will be live events for our fund managers throughout the year. There will be live events for your investors as well to understand what we're doing here, right? And just to paint a picture of how fast we can change the entire game is 1 million people raising $1 million. That's $1 trillion. And we don't even touch the money. That's just cash that will sit there. The power of just having cash sitting there, how many people will come to partner and want to be a part of what we're doing. Like I can't even imagine it right now. But with that, we can we can enforce a vision for the world. We can we can put different guidelines in places for how people and companies operate. Right? And uh what can we leverage? 
with a trillion dollars in cash. We can leverage 10, 15 trillion dollars. That's that's going to put us at the top 10 GDP in the entire world, all the countries. And it's not it's not it's not like, oh, now we can go and 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 make a whole ton of money. Yes, money will be made. See, understand when profit is not at the top of the priority list, when impact is at the top, when em empowerment is at the top, and then profits, profits just is a, is a product of what happens. When we focus on profits, then we justify why we destroy a community. We justify why we keep people medicated. We justify a lot of things that are done that just like it, it's questionable. Like what? Why? Doesn't even it's not logic. It's not logical unless it's about profits. All right. So um, you're also so you're going to get that capital school learning how to raise capital. Now, being a fund manager, it opens so many doors for you. OK, like you can sit down at the table with any super high net worth person and offer them something that is going to change, change their business. Cause you're going to be associated with our fund, with what we're doing and in our community, like it will open your mind. Okay. To possibilities. Most 99, probably every single person, most, I guess I'll just say most instead of every single operates from a place of what's available to me in my bank account. What's available to me in how much credit I can get. And then our dreams are that small. When you become a fund to fund manager, when you step into this realm, this is the highest level that you can play in the investment world. The highest level playing at these fund levels. Okay. And we've, don't, we're, we created this at cost for you. This is a done for you entire thing done for you. All right. What else? What am I, Jacqueline, am I forgetting something else? There's a whole bunch of things that we offer, but when you onboard, you're going to get all of this stuff. There's going to be a calendar for you. It's going to be a calendar. There's going to be a one pager, which you can show your investors. Look, this is what we're doing. This is how much returns you're going to be getting. We will be the, one of the most aggressive returning funds out there. Because I'm not interested in keeping all the, all the, all the profits here. Okay, I'm, I always think I'm like, well, what, what, what would somebody even do with a billion dollars in their bank account? You know, what, what the heck would I even be doing? I rather have a million people climbing the mountain with me instead of being at the top of the mountain by myself. And what ends up happening is I shared earlier. There's going to be so many different funds. There's going to be real estate opportunity funds. There's going to be Tony Shea legacy fund. There's going to be so many funds out there that you can create, but you can only create it once you understand how this system works. So we're going to take you from a beginner. And I don't care if you're an expert or not already in this space. You are a beginner in everything that we're doing. Okay. I am also a beginner. We're going to get through this. We're going to create this together. That's why we have such power players that understand it together. This has never been done before. Nobody's put all this together. Yes, you might have heard fund to funds out there. Bridger Pennington teaching fund to funds. But at the end of the day, where do you place your funds is more important than knowing and creating your own fund to fund model. Where can you place it? So, um, you know, that is what's available. And I think... Jacqueline, do you have a um a a Google Doc for anyone that is ready? We're literally we're only taking twelve people, yes. twelve groups, because this is how we're gonna start. We're gonna work it. We're gonna help re refine the entire system with the twelve. Okay, you're gonna be on the front end of all of this. You guys are like the disciples of this of of Legends funds. All right, and it's you know, I guess I can share a little bit more of how the profits work. We return 15% to your fund. You know, you return 9%, 9.5% to your investors. That means you make 5%, 4.5%, whatever it is on asset management. Okay, there's some other expenses obviously tied to having a fund. We will lay all of that out for you. You're going to learn so much from this. 
You're literally riding while you're on a bike. I mean, learning while you're riding a bike. That's, that's, that's how you learn to ride a bike. You don't take courses and, and, and watch YouTube videos for thousands of hours to learn something. It's just, you got to do it. Okay. So from that place, um, it's, it's really all done for you like that. And, um, yeah, this is, this is, this is my vision of what I want to create out there and I need everyone's help. Okay. So Chris has got a question. Go ahead, Chris. Oh yeah. Um, I just noticed that I didn't have permission to access the document. The Google doc. Yes. Mm. Hang on. Let me look. We might have an yeah, issue. Would, yeah. Hang tight. Just, just put, yeah. Everyone that has links should have access. So here's the thing. Only fill this doc out. This is not a doc for more information. Only fill this doc out if you are ready to move forward. Okay. If you want to be considered as one of the first 12. I will be the first 12. Okay. The first thing is 50K needs to be ready. And the second thing is you will have you will have the time and energy and the commitment to making to to learning and to having all this work because we will we will break we will break the game. <laughs> we will bust loose from the money game. This is happening. All right, we haven't even marketed this out there. You guys are the first to hear about this, but this will be everywhere. Because there's nothing like it. Okay, try and again for okay. me. Yeah. And, and we're harnessing the power of community in this in this. Bringing community into private equity, like that that itself doesn't happen. Private equity is like, ooh, let's let's figure out how to create, keep all this ourselves and make more money from the from from people. That's that's private equity at this point. But if we truly bring community and we combine that with private equity, that is what proxy calls the democratization of private equity. And everybody can be a part of it. You know, and just by hearing this, you may not understand fully. You might be like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to be involved or I don't have 50K. doesn't matter. Don't think about what you don't have. Think about how you can be a part of it. I'm on the dock now. Thank you, Jacqueline. You're very kind. Get it work. I'm glad it worked. Yeah. Proxy had settings. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. Yeah, those are for you guys that are really, truly ready to move forward because the last call I had up to this point, I mean, I'd spent so much time with everyone one-on-one, -on -one, which I'm blessed. I, I feel I'm, I'm grateful to have had one-on-ones with you guys, but we are ready to launch. We are ready to launch. There is a proven concept already. My partner, Justin, they, it's already being done. They've been doing this for the largest players. They've been making the largest players a lot more money and they've been in it, doing it. And now... 50 what five zero okay just the fund to fund build itself is like twenty thousand. so we have a lot of expenses that goes into creating this done for you okay and um yeah this journey itself you know the 50k there is a way in which you can market it in such a way that you can actually pull this back out from the money that you raise okay that is a possibility we will talk about that as well you know, the, the goal in investments is how do we pull out our initial investment so we can play with house money, right? It's kind of the same as like when you're at a blackjack table. <laughs> Let me play with, ho with house money. Um, go ahead, Khalil. Hey, thank you, Alex. Hey, everyone. Um, so I have access to capital, but I'm looking for a credit partner, as you know. Um, some of that, that will support within the vision because everything you laid out is very straightforward and um, practical in the sense of application and success, um, given all your knowledge and connections and bringing other people in. A company that I work with uh, has access to uh, 900,000 uh, and, and uh, with a simple credit part. It doesn't affect credit at all. It's leveraging debt to be able to uh, bring more people in and scale with other groups. Okay. All right. Awesome. I mean, it's great. You, what I know a lot of people here offers a lot of things that will support other people. 
But this specifically, what we want to get down to here is who's committed and ready to go, right? We, I know there's, there's at least 25 people that are ready to go and have been asking me week after week. But now we're ready to go, and I really want to, to talk to the people that are ready. You know, and, and really help you understand what's going on. We will hold another webinar specifically for those. And we will continue to do these webinars to share vision because the, you don't need to be a part of the fun to fun to be, to make an impact in what we're doing. All right. And oh, look, Ruse Bay's here. Let me get let me get him up here. Bro. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I didn't even see you. Oh man, yeah, I must What's have been up, hiding buddy? back there. No, I've been I've been on the whole time. I guess my face has been hiding at the end of the list. Hmm. How are you doing, man? Good, good. It's good to see you. So Ruse Bay is actually like the right hand of Adnan in um in MW Law. So oops, I didn't know you were still here. Somebody's always monitoring what I'm saying. <laughs> but this is the type of protection that everybody needs. You know, you need it. And and this is what proxy does, keeping you security compliant. Uh MW Law also doing the same thing. Like we got a lot. This is hand holding for you. That's why I said experience not necessary. Oh yeah. So I actually wanted to piggyback on that. Um, and and hopefully everybody understands from a legal standpoint, we wouldn't be at this point with Alex on this call and Jacqueline and 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 Proxy and everyone else on here that's part of this plan if we hadn't already structured this. So for everyone's knowledge already, we've, from a legal standpoint, already structured everything for you guys. This thing is actually ready to go from a legal and structure standpoint. Um, and so when, when Alex is saying, hey, I'm looking for my commitments right now, rest assured that everything has actually already been built out on the back end to ensure y'all's protection and to ensure a very, very smooth transition and process. So from a timing point, um, and if anybody's got this question in the back of their mind, like how prepared are they to actually, you know, receive all of this and get this going, we are, right? We're there right now. So, um, you know, if I'm reiterating what you said, Alex, I apologize, but I wanted to oh. reinforce that point for everybody. Um, and it's just exciting, man. Your energy is incredible. Uh, anybody that's worked with Alex and the team, uh, obviously it makes sense that you and Jacqueline and everybody else have been connected. I remember the first day I met Alex, uh, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, we got to work with this guy. Um, he knows what he's doing and he's got a vision. And, and I'll tell you guys this from a legal standpoint, we're always skeptical, right? And so when we hear a, a vision like this, right, Jacqueline is laughing because it's true. When we hear a vision like this, obviously we ask a bunch of questions and we make sure, you know, um, you know, the number of people that have come to us and said, I want to start a $50 million fund and have no track record and no background and nothing that they want to do. I'm looking at them like, guys, I'd, I'd love to start a $50 million fund too. That would be, that would be awesome. Um, but uh, these guys really do have um, their foundation set and their backing. Um, if anybody has any questions, obviously, um, y'all can get our contact information from Alex. But just wanted to give my two cents there and kind of bring that perspective to, uh, to where we actually are from a structure standpoint. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Hey, listen, course, if you guys can get a law firm to come here and speak for you, you've done, you're doing something right. All right. So, doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Thank you. No, seriously, like this is such an opportunity and it would be such an honor to be able to work with all of you, especially the first pioneers. I'm looking for the pioneers that have the courage to really step into this game. And it's, it's going to be amazing. You know, I, I know it at the bottom of my heart just because of where we're going and how big this vision is. And ultimately, like, I understand where the, the, the heart of this is going. It's not about, let me, let me get, let me get more. It's not about, it's not about get more. It's about how do we give more, you know? And this is why, you know, when, when Ruse Bay and Anon in the beginning, when they were skeptical about it, it was like, well, and and even my partners, all of my partners, why why you just keep giving so much more out? I'm like, I don't want it. It's about scale. It's about making a difference, about making an impact. Okay. Like I know money is going to be made. If I go and make a million people millionaires, I am going to be wealthier beyond my imagination. I don't even know what to do with. So let me give more of it out to everybody. Let me empower more people.
2024, I made a declaration that no education that I do, no coaching that I do will cost any money. Like, I just won't do it. I started giving out my uh, multifamily real estate courses out for free. You know, I'm taking, I'm doing some one-on-ones with some people for free that I feel like are really ready and, you know, have the the capacity to be able to to hear it. You know, this past week and I, I heard... um. Somebody shared with me that, you know, only one out of pe- one out of 20 people can actually receive the message without paying for something. <laughs> it's pretty interesting, you know, so like I would love to do all of this for free, but it costs money. MW Law costs money. Proxy costs money. Every everything that is done, everyone, this is everyone winning together. OK, I am not about making money on you're you creating your fund i want to be partners i want you to win when you win i will win this is the structure that we are the foundation of what we're building is unless you're successful i am not going to be successful you know we've brought this method also to our development and construction and building okay we're partnering with a with a with a um a developer a builder that literally has their entire structure like that and from their from their subs to their architects to their contractors everything all in-house like just all in one place and nobody wins unless everyone wins and i just love that um okay so yeah i'll take i'll I'll spend the next 14 minutes here to take any questions um, any comments? You guys will get a email with the replay of this call. Um, yeah, and and stay connected there. Let me let me actually share a link with you guys also. Um, follow me on Instagram. I have a group on Instagram a channel, especially dedicated to this funding your deals. Um, this year we're going to be funding a lot of people's deals as well through this fund. Uh, but I do want to share this link with you guys. Okay, so this will be in the chat right here. This link is a um, a Mighty Networks online link that we have that is a community a community page. Right, so this page we will have uh, you know all the people that are interested. If you're a part of it, you want to continue to know, be in the know of what's going on, you'll be here. And then for those of you guys that are on the the email list, you guys will definitely be. Uh, Definitely be notified of anything that we do, and 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 the and the and the um the progress in which we're making. So, oops, HTTPS. So if you haven't signed up here, just also be registered in there. You're gonna get a please read, which is share with you the vision, uh, kind of in a summary. So, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, any questions next 15 minutes or so? Go ahead, Donna. Hey, so, so the structure gets set up, right? But then um, as fund of fund managers, do you need to have like your own advertising budget or how do you actually get the word out about the fund? Yeah, we literally build it for you. This is a done for you with the investment thesis done for you, with your marketing package done for you, with your legal documents done for you that you're gonna give to your investors, your marketing material. I mean, obviously you will be able to start adding more things with the handholding of proxy and NW law, right? How awesome is that? Like that is ridiculous. The, 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 the risk of most people creating their fund of funds, doing syndications, everything is, you fall into holes that you don't even know that is there. And having this done for you handheld way, like this is this is the best that I can think of to making sure that people win. All right. And it's not expensive. I, for real, I've talked to some really high level people and shared this vision. They're like, you're only charging $50,000 for this access. Okay, here, here's another big thing. Your fund to fund has no limit, no minimums in investing into this fund. 
anyone else that wants to invest into this fund as an individual needs to have 10, $20 million. It'll be the same as how other big funds are operating. But as a fund to fund, this is this is specifically so that you guys can be a part of it. If you're a non-accredited investor, you can still be a fund to fund manager. And then you become an accredited investor in your own fund because you are the fund manager. Being an accredited investor gives you the ability to play in the realm of the wealthy. Like get into that space now. You know, I, I can't like stress the urgency of being a part of uh, being in that space. You know, just by staying connected to this community and what we're doing, your mind will expand. I promise you. The possibility and what you think you can do and the things that you want to take to market and the ideas and the message and all the things you have will be blown up because you're like, oh, well, that's possible. If money was not the conversation, what would you be out there doing? What would you do every day with your life if money was not the conversation at all? Let's begin there. What ideas would you bring to the world? What impact would you make in the world? If Could you, you repeat the question? <laughs> if money was not an issue, if not, money was not in, even in the thought, right? What would you be doing every day? What impact would you be making? What product would you take to market? So I would just try to help as many people as possible exactly there it is and so this is that's it right there that's 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 the answer everybody is going to come down to and this is what tony shea actually said what how deep do you when you talk about what brings you happiness at the first layer oh if i can just pay my bills okay next layer and then what and if you go down five layers of how you bring happiness, you're going to find that it's it's in helping other people and serving people. And so let's just go there now. Let's bring our minds there now. Let's be a part of this community that is focused on reminding each other that that's where we're going. That's what this is really all about. Okay, money's going to be made. I promise you. Money, the product, the money is a product of what we're doing here. We don't need to focus on it. The impact that we're going to make in people's lives and in communities and in the world, money's just going to come as a product of that, as a result. All right. Go ahead, Jacqueline. Yeah, I just want to also let you guys know, like if you, um, if this is something you're super, super green at, be really cautious because there are fees for monitoring and managing the administrative side. So if you guys don't hit a million dollar raise, um, there's gonna be fees on that. So just keep in mind everything and keep, make sure that you guys have a strategy and this is something that everyone's gonna be prepared and ready to rumble with when you do it. Um, Cause we don't wanna take money from you guys out of your own pockets um, if you signed up for this. So like we have, this is why you go through the financial review because we wanna make sure we have an ethical, liability and all of that to, to make sure you guys are safely investing and doing this properly. And, and we don't have any risk on your end. We're not trying to bankrupt people or take your last dollar. So just keep this in mind and keep this top of mind as you guys are working through this. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we'll take just a couple more minutes here, you know, and they're additional to what we're, what you're going to be as a fund to fund manager is you will also sort of be like a loan officer as the first level screener for the fund. And if you bring a loan to the table, referral fees are not, uh, not it, it is compliant to security laws, you know, and you can make referral fees on loans. I mean, now you get to, you get to impact the, 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 I don't know, the fund itself. And you get to impact the amount of money you make. And you get to bring your investors' money in. You know, and yes, like Jacqueline said, we would you should think, can I raise one to five million dollars? Okay. The product is there. Okay. I've sat down at tables with really wealthy, wealthy people, and they're like, dude, if you start this thing, we have a hundred million liquid. We have five hundred million liquid. So if I can sit at the table and say that. Every single person can too, because this is going to be your product. 
I'm not offering them anything different than your than than you. All right, so okay, uh, yeah. So I mean, an example we're we're thinking right now it's going to be half a point. Half a point means half a percent of a loan. So if you have a hundred million dollar loan, it is five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, that's an opportunity right there. One million or what is it? Ten. Uh, yeah, a ten million dollar loan. $50,000. Boom. All right. So, you know, this is a, it's a really great opportunity. If anybody has any more questions, feel free to, to share, ask. Raise a million. How much time? It, there's, there's no timetable. See, this is also the cool thing too. All right. It's not like so you have to. Our to minimum fees are billed annually. Yeah. So, so there, there are, there are minimum fees that you, you get billed. From proxy because this is your admin and um but we're gonna we're gonna set you up to win all right if you can pay attention and be on the calls you know on a weekly basis of what we're doing and yeah this this is a product that is more aggressive than a lot of the other debt funds out there mercedes has a debt fund offering five point something percent returns to their investors. All right, so, okay. Questions? What are the minimum fees? I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to say tens of thousands. I, can... I have to look. CJ, are you here? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. W. So here, there's so, a couple see a couple just fees is like the filing fees, your admin fee, um, you know, just keeping your fund like there's a maintenance of your fund, right? So don't like if you're not ready, and you personally feel like there's a resistance inside, then you know let's be in the community and talk to talk on uh, these calls more. But for those of you guys that are like, yeah, I see, I see what it is we're doing. I'm ready to go. Those are the you though you you guys are the pioneers that I'm looking for. And if you have a strong pull inside, like yes, I can do this, we will help you. We will make sure you win. All right. If I may, Alex, this yes, is CJ. Hey. hey CJ. Um, generally speaking, to to answer the question on the board as best as I can, we're we're trying to model it as if you if you can raise a million dollars in the first 12 months of your fund launching and you feel confident that you can do that. And the fee should be in line with where they should be for any type of fund manager. If you have a hundred million or if you have a billion or anything, the goal is that you shouldn't have to raise a ton of money for it to be cost effective and it to be very lucrative. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. I'm, we're looking at for the, you know, the goal would be if you think you confidently can raise $1 million in the first 12 months and then build from there at the very least, then um, upon joining, we'll give you all the, the proprietary kind of data behind that and show you how to win. Awesome. And I would say it's about a 1.8 X cost to revenue on that million dollars too. That scales in the right direction over time. So if you're, if you're a math brain, you're making more money than you're spending in that first year. You know, if you're going to, if you're bringing in a million bucks, trying to, we're trying to really bring that down. So it's, it's so it's easy to rock. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, every single one of us that is in like MW Law, Proxy Financial, everyone that is a part of this partnership team, everyone is lowering their fees to as low as it can go. Okay, this is this is because everyone believes in the vision. Like easily, probably this thing should cost like $200,000 for somebody to join to do something like this. Right, because, but, but everyone is willing. Because we see that there's a larger vision, there is scale, there's power with community when we ha harness like everyone together, like everyone's going to eat, everyone's going to have, uh, it, it's going to be great. It's going to do fine. All right. And Proxy is also generous and kind enough to extend their financial fitness to all of your investors as well, you know, at a very base cost. Like it's, it's insane. This is not something you get. You're going to be getting hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of value for you know, a, a small amount of money. Go ahead, Adam. Good evening, brother. Hello, everybody. Hey. Um, so with raising a million dollars within the first 12 months, what is the duration of the actual 
training wheels process, you know, so out of, out of 12 months is three months of it, the actual courses to where we're going to have the, the uh, actual uh, blockchain program and things to, to, to show people. Yeah. I mean, the basics of it is going to be completed very shortly in the beginning, probably a couple months, but there will be ongoing, like, how do we support each other? It's a community thing. You know, we will we will do like live events together that are like transformational and personal development type, like breaking through barriers and talking about the the market and understanding what's going on on a macro level. Okay, I always tell people, I mean, if you understand things on a macro level, it smaller things are happening makes more sense. Okay, if you understand how to do funds, syndications become easy. If you understand how funds operate, then you understand how banks operate. Then you understand the relationship between banks and you as a borrower. And just the pieces of the puzzle become filled in when you're operating and playing at the highest level. All right, so go ahead, okay. Jason. All in. All in. Let's go. Me too. Me three. Hey, I was wondering... Can you it's hard to hear you. Yeah, I was wondering if you can ever. Or is it, you said uh, accredited, you could do accredited or you can do non-accredited and there's, there's no limit to how much each person can put in. Like you could have somebody put in 10,000, but how can you, how do you advertise that? Are there rules like uh, for it to be public or not public? Do you have to be? Uh, do you have to have a previous relationship with the people? Okay. So, yeah, let me answer this. So, no, it's not non-accredited people can invest. I'm just saying you as a non-accredited investor could be a fund manager, right? So this is kind of like, listen, if you want to play this game, this is how you play, right? As a fund manager right now, if you're non-accredited, you become accredited as your own fund because you have extensive knowledge of your own fund. Okay, so you become accredited for your own fund. So you can invest through there yourself too. Now, this is a this is not one of those non-accredited ones. So you can put a billboard up if you want. Okay, like this is a accredited only investment vehicle. And as a first beginner fund for you, you will have a maximum of 100 people in your fund. Now, as you grow, right, when you become more sophisticated, there are a lot of different other ways. All right, a lot of other things we can be doing. But I don't even want to go there right now just because that's not where we're at. All right. So, yeah, appreciate the question. Wait, hold on. Somebody just, it's just in here. Mm, nope. All right. So, okay, John, go ahead. <laughs> okay. I'm here. Who's that? All right, Jackson, dude, thank you so much for being here, brother. Alex, I'm here. Did you call my name? Oh, where are you? I'm How come Chris. I don't see you? I'm, I'm right here. Alex, he's with me. He's on mine. Oh, all right. Hold on. I want to bring you up because I do. You know what? So this is great, guys. We're going to end this off here. I want to introduce you to my partner and how this really, how he and I, um, are like the perfect combo to make this whole thing happen. So let me wait. I still Why is it chinky running this? Who's that? Okay. Uh, I don't know. I can't find you, Chris. Where are you? Chris and Justin here. I'll raise my hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do it. Did you raise your hand? There we go. Oh, all right. So yeah, Chris and Justin are my partners, but Justin is the um, the family office from Florida. So Justin, why don't you give a little bit of a background for you, um, who you guys service, uh, and just a little more of your background. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so my name's Justin. Uh, partnered up with Alex, um, met him a while back, um, super excited to be involved uh, in this big vision project, everything that we're going to be doing out here. 
I've been uh, in the lending industry, uh, I kid you not, since I was 13. Uh, it's when my father got me involved in the business. My father's been doing this for 50 years. Uh, he's retired now, so I've been running the whole entire office uh, now on my own. We do over a billion plus a year worth of loans. Um, you know, some of our biggest clients are KB Homes, GL Homes, Toll Brothers, Ryan Homes. Work with some of the biggest people on the construction lines when you know they're doing big construction projects, etc. To where we're able to structure debt for people in situations. Um, you know, I'm not sure if anyone's even heard of me out there or not from some deals I've did for people where you come on a Monday by Wednesday afternoon, uh, we could have your deal funded, you know, if it's under $25 million. But we're private money. So the biggest thing for us is, you know, we structure creative debt for people where we're able to come in and work on approving a loan that might be a loan that's, you know, denied by Fannie Freddie, but we have the ability to work on, you know, a different side of things where we look at your experience, you know, what have you done, what's your vision in a project, you know, if it's a performa based or if you have a T3, T12, sometimes we'll go based off a T1. Uh, depending on the case scenario, we uh, service all assets of commercial real estate, big on construction, big on acquisition. Refinances we work a lot on. It's definitely a tougher market just because a lot of people have variable rates right now uh, when they signed on, so it's really hard to fix those types of deals but we try our hardest to do the best that we can do. And what's nice about us is we don't have a cap as to what we can lend on. I'm working on a deal for someone right now around $2 billion. Um, and we can go as low as a million dollars. So, you know, we're able to bring the creativity to the deal. And, you know, with uh, my expertise and knowledge and just the really, really top level people in this industry that I, you know, understand, you know, we're able to, we're able to really provide a huge, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A huge, you know, outline to all the fund managers coming in for deals that are going to be going out, underwriting the systems we use, the experience, um, the AI technology. I can go into on another day that we've been really honed in on an unbiased experience. So we really have the full nine yards, which is going to be really important to the fund managers when it comes down to funding a deal. Yeah. Awesome. No, so there's not going to be a yearly membership fee to be in there. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. <laughs> um, yeah. So Justin, uh, his family, they've been doing this for, you know, like 65 years or whatever it was. And they bring the relationships internationally um, with, with banks and funds all around the world. Um, they have huge connections here in the States and yeah, basically we're bringing what they've already built, you know, like like he shared, they've done billions of dollars in lending. Uh, we're taking that entire model and we're just plugging it into our fund. And instead of being, you know, a, 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 a fund itself, like, like, you know, without fund to fund managers, we are literally just creating a way to share the profits, share the knowledge with everybody. All right, so that's really the goal is is to share is to share how this game is played at the highest level you know meeting justin us talking I've, i'm like oh wow that's how the game is played up there right this is how easy everybody makes money up there um and how these funds operate i'm like well everyone else that doesn't know this is at a disadvantage at a mass at a massive disadvantage what would it look like if everybody did know this right what would the world look like if we were able to share this knowledge, right? So that's a, also a huge part of the push of why we're really creating this fund to fund model. And the, fir and the first 12 is going to be our, our, our pioneers, you know, and you're going to be, think, you know, being with this fund to fund, it's so important to understand how big this can become, you know, in the real estate market, growing bigger than Vanguard fidelity, you know, what they do specifically mm. to what we can offer. And I know them very well. You know, I know their funders. I know their loan officers. I deal with them on a daily basis and I know what their vision is and their vision will cap out at some point because sooner or later, they're not going to be able to continue their model the way they do it. We have such the strategic approach where this, it's not a breakable approach, which is why this is so important. And I'm 100% committed into this. I've put aside all our other clients that I was working with. 
I'm 100% on board with every deal that we're working on. Actually working on a deal that's going to bring so much value to the fund managers on a property that we have to close on, you know, that's going to open up so many deals for all of us. And, you know, I was like, just get it there. I was like, I'll get you $13 million. Just give me like three days. I was like, all right, let's close. Yeah. So that's just, you know, the level of confidence that we have. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Um, at least we'll do another call that is more in details that, that is, that will be details in answering that. So, you know, being a part of that, like I'm ready to go is we're going to have, we're going to draw that out with you. You know, you guys, this has never been done before. All right. And we're, again, we're just, we're going with the pioneers, the, the product, the system already works. We could do it without putting fund to fund managers out there. We actually could do it without raising any capital. We literally just want to raise capital so that we can create a community. We can offer returns. We're like, here, just take some of our returns and take it. All right. Literally, it doesn't make sense to, to most people that are running big funds. Oh, it's true. Yeah. When, I met, when I met Alex, the first thing I said to him, I was like, why don't you just do this alone with me? I was like, we can run it ourselves. I, I have the resources. And, yeah. You know, he really brought the vision to me and, you know, really taught me why it's important. And that was the biggest thing as to what opened me up to this whole thing and put me fully 100% invested into this. Yeah. Thank you, Justin, for saying that. You know, it's it's true. Most of us really just were like, okay, let me take care of my family. Let me take care of myself. And then, you know, if I got something extra, let's go help some do some charitable causes. But, you know, this this is this is a really big game. All right. So I know we are, you know, going a little bit deep into the, the hours now. Jacqueline, if you want to wrap it up for us and uh, we're going to do deals, Alexis, we're going to do deals across the whole country. OK, maybe in the whole world. <laughs> so. Yeah, I just wanted to say, you guys, like we've established this in such a manner that, you know, we have one of the top capital raisers, I think, in the country. Um, he is a massive player. He is willing to take on everybody to help, you know, educate. Like he's one of my educational mentors in my 360 Real Estate University. He's somebody that I spoke to today. He's so excited to open his doors to you guys. He's so excited. Like, he's just like, really, you're going to do this. This is going to be amazing. Like I get to train Alex's people. And I said, yeah, of course, <laughs> who's going to do it? He's like, well, you know how to do it. I'm like, I don't need the glory, but like, of course they know how to do it. But you know, it's one of those things like Alex really put a very thoughtful plan together for you guys. Right. He brought in one of the top lawyers. He brought in a registered investment advisory for you. He's bringing in education and training. MW law has training proxy is training on what we do the law versus administrative services so you can understand this is a very high risk area people do go to jail for this guys because they are not monitored they are not doing this legally so we are doing everything we can to take the bowling alley and bring the bumper lanes in and try to give you the support and the love and help and encouragement to get you guys in the right direction if you think you're ready um, you know, we're willing, Proxy's willing to do a, a pre-payment kickoff call if you guys want, so you can understand all the fees and everything, and we're going to be fully transparent with everything. Um, so if you guys are concerned or worried, um, we're not here to put people into bankruptcy, I promise you. Um, you know, Alex is is definitely not either. Um, you know, we really have our best foot forward here, and like Alex said, these funds are not cheap. They're not cheap by any means of the imagination. We are all in this to give you guys access and help you guys win. So please, 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 like we are going to make sure that you guys are sound and solid and not going to fail as to the best of our abilities. But at the end of the day, you know, everyone's success is based on their own attempt and their own perseverance and their own, you know, drive and, and ambition and vigor, right? Like just earlier, somebody asked me, my, my assistant, like, guys, I don't sleep. I haven't been sleeping this whole month because I'm trying to get all this done for everybody. Right. And you know, it's one of those things like to get to the top is not easy. You need to put your, you know, if you're going to do it, do it a hundred percent. 
if you're on, not sure, keep coming. Like we're going to keep these doors open. It's not a one and done thing. And, you know, we're always here. You can chat with me and, and Instagram. I'll definitely answer your questions. I'm already talking to people. So don't be shy. We're here to help you and make you succeed, not fail guys. So don't be scared. Don't be afraid of these. Like the goal is to get you guys over hurdles. You're going to be making more money than you probably will ever made in your life if you do this right. And this is the world. Fund of Funds is the world where yachts are, are paid for. Um, so if you learn how to do this with bumpers, then you're going to be dangerous and you can go to your own and run out into the wild and, and really change lives. You know, like that, that's what this is supposed to do. So mm -hmm. our heart and, and our ethos for all of us. And, and I feel I can speak for MW law and everybody, like it's, it's to get you guys going in the right direction and to get you guys out of, you know, maybe a hamster wheel you're stuck on. So, you know, I'm, I'm really thankful and blessed that, you know, Alex, trusted me and is letting me go on this journey with him. You know, it means a lot. He's my really dear friend, guys. And I'm not trying to set my friend up for failure. That's why I'm not sleeping right now to make sure everything is in your inbox when you pay and on board and you're ready to go um, and, and make sure this is the best experience possible for you guys. So I just want to say that like, we're not here to screw people. That is not my motivation. I work for, I, you changed my life. Like mm -hmm. just Yesterday, Justin and I got those text messages, you know, we changed somebody's life. That's what we're here to do. We're not here to hurt people. And there's other ways than just raising money that you can make money. Like Alex mentioned, refer good properties from good developers, good people who do, you know, projects that are stuck. There's many ways you guys can make money and we're not sticking you in just one. So please think openly and please like know that this is probably the craziest deal. I, I like looking at him like, are you sure? He's like, I'm sure. I'm like, are you sure? I'm sure. So we're doing the best we can. We're going to try and keep this as safe as possible. Um, you know, we're all, we're all on the hook for this, you guys. So just keep that in mind. You, you know, we are at risk just as much as you guys. So, you know, we're, we're not trying to put you in a bear claw and, and just take your money. That is not this. That is maybe yeah. other gurus, coaches, whatever you want to call them, but that's, that's, we can't by law, we will go to jail. So there, there are teeth and claws in this. So yeah. don't take it lightly. It's funny because I'm so thank you, Jacqueline. It's funny because I'm asking everybody to, I'm like, Hey, what's your minimum? How, let's, let's lower the minimum. Let's lower it more. Like what's your floor? Like what you can charge, what you, what you, how, how to set this up. And the risk is going to jail, <laughs> but the vision is so big, right? We can all see it and we're going to be doing the right things. So I hope, uh, you know, I want to, I want to conclude it here one, because, um, you know, we've, this, this takes a lot of endurance to sit here and I want to give you guys an opportunity to marinate on this and think about it. Um, but don't think too long first, not first 12, but we will pick 12. You know, I already know that there's going to be 20 plus 30 plus people ready to go. Like just based off of who I've spoken with already. Um, so 12 people we're going to pick. And everybody else, like, just watch and be a part of what's going on. You know, a trillion, think about the, the size of a trillion dollar fund. If you think about a trillion dollar business, how many employees do they have? How many CEOs, CFOs, things are underneath that company? Think about Amazon or Google or any of these massive world-changing companies. Like there are more ways to be a part of this than just being fund to fund managers. However, this is the most powerful way that you're going to co-create with us to move forward, to be a part of this movement. You know, now we already have a couple of people that are going to come on and be part of the underwriting team, you know, and um, marketing team. Like we, we got a lot of, there's a lot of different ways, but just stay plugged in. And I hope that, um, you know, this provide a value opens your minds up to what else is possible. And uh, just again, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every one of you, especially if you stayed all the way to this point. You know, we probably lost like 40 different 40 people coming in here. But for you guys that have stayed, like, thank you so much for being here and listening all the way to the end. You know, and uh, it is, you know, I'm extremely honored and humbled and uh and grateful so yeah with that being said that's it that's all folks and you know those of you guys that get my text messages for this fund you can respond directly to it that goes to my phone so i will respond back to you and let's make it happen y'all
that's it that's all folks thank you cj jacqueline justin chris all of my brothers and sisters out there <laughs> boom jeffrey no, no. boom yeah so for sure all right thank you thank you so much for staying all the way to the end everybody much blessings love you all peace out peace